been talking about fighting as it is. With no real warfare. Well then, baby, you better train every part of your body. Get his left elbow towards the floor. Oh, something happened. Come here, come here. Time, time, time. That's it. So that is it. Don't bother. Covington does get the TKO stoppage in round five. And if I can't get the fair title fight, I want the 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 best friends turn enemies fight with with Jorge Masvidal, Street Judas. You know, he's he's been talking all that talk reckless. You know, at our old gym, he was saying, "Oh, I'll do. I'm gonna beat your ass. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that." Okay, let's see it. Come see me in the octagon then. If you're so tough. Let's see you back up those words. I back up my words. All the talk I say, I walk the talk, and I, t I talk the talk, and I walk the walk. Let's see it, Street Judas Masvidal. What's up, guys? Sleeping John here. So what you've seen, I'm sure you guys seen a lot. Kobe Covington, he's a big talker. He's been calling out George. George is a mega UFC star. They have some history in the past. They've had gym wars. And according to some of this footage we got, I mean... Opinions may vary, but it appears like Kobe's getting the best of this wrestling match. Kobe made a lot of bold statements about how he used to, his, his straight up words was manhandle and, and son George and, um, in training. And, you know, I mean, guys have good days and bad days. It's only one piece of training, so it may not tell the whole story. But what we do see here is the potential for an explosive matchup. Like, I don't know how you guys feel, but I would love to see what would happen if Kobe Covington faced George Masvidal. So tell us what you guys think in the comments about either fighter and what would happen if they linked up. Um, again, Kobe, he talks a big one, but it's true. Kobe does back it up. George backs it up too. So hopefully we get this matchup. It's in the talks. It's in the rumors. It's on the rumor mill. And Dana is trying to make that happen. So come on, Uncle Dana. Make it happen, Uncle Dana. We want to see it. You know, when I used to train with Jorge in the gym, they'd tell me to go light on him. You know, they'd be like, hey, go light on him today. We want to, you know, he's preparing for his fights, you know. And so we want to build his confidence. We don't want him to go into his fight, you know, beat down. So go easy on him today because, you know, we want to make sure that he's confident going into his fight. So Street Dudas Masvidal knows who his daddy is. You know, I'm still mad that last Father's Day he didn't give me a shout out because I am Jorge Masvidal's daddy. Time for some more juicy behind the scenes content. All right, so we got a matchup coming. Huge matchup. The champion, Usman versus this guy, Gilbert Burns. Listen, Gilbert Burns has been his training partner for years, for uh, years. Have you talked to your team about how that would work? How, how would it work if you and Usman were to fight? How, how would the preparation work? How would the coaching work? How, how would it play out? I don't know, but it's gonna be real. I don't know, but we're both, prof we're both professionals that like the guy a lot. Yeah, I don't know, it'll be weird, but I want to fight for the title, no, I want to be the champion. I think Gilbert Burns is, uh, might be might be overlooked by some. I mean, look at this, look at this. Look at these exchanges, bam. That would have been a knockout shot right there. Overhand, then the left hook. Boom. And one more. Boom. Right on the chin. It's almost like, like Gilbert has Usman's timing, or Usman can't deal with the speed or maybe it was a bad day and i don't know who's my had a belly i wasn't there but this footage 
Oh, I can't wait to see this fight. I got respect for both fighters, both gentlemen. I'm a fan of Usman, and I'm a fan of Gilbert Burns. So excited to see. You know, Usman has been looking like an intimidating welterweight champion. Like, he can't be stopped. So for a while, honestly, after seeing what he did to George, seeing what he did to Kobe, it's just like, like, who can beat Usman? You know, like, who's going to beat Usman? Might be Gilbert. This is exciting too. The potential of Michael Chandler being in the UFC. It's been it's been too many years coming. Too many years coming. The fans have wanted this. No, yeah, he's uh, nobody he's wants not. to fight that dude. No, I, I wouldn't. I mean, that dude is. I mean, he is. He's a specimen. He's got wrestling. He's got striking. I mean, you you watch him spar, or you watch him hit mitts, or you watch his composure and his confidence while he's sparring and doing all that kind of stuff. You'd think he's been striking since he was 11. Done that. Him and I train a ton together, and it works out well for me because he's a bigger guy. I like to go with a little bit bigger guys so I can just continue to get stronger and manipulate mm -hmm. bodies at a bigger level. He's a stand in for the Justin Gaethje versus the Beep for the championship. Everybody's hoping that fight stays, and nobody wants either guy to get hurt. But if one of them do get hurt and that injury bug does creep up, we got Michael Chandler right there on deck inside of a glass jar. We're gonna break it like the emergency glass jars. We're like, Whoosh! and Michael Chandler's gonna hop out and face either Justin for the intern or Khabib for the belt. So excited for that. Give you guys a little bit more Usman. Look at these uh, exchanges and scrambles. The intuition, Usman is a hell of a fighter. Incredible, incredible grappler. But we saw in those earlier striking sparring sessions with Gilbert. It seemed like Gilbert was definitely getting the best of him that day. Would it be Usman's cardio and grappling that seals the deal? Would it be Gilbert's power? What do you guys think would be the determining factor in who's going to take it between Usman and Gilbert Burns? What do you guys think? Leave that in the comments below. Speaking of the future of welterweight championships, look at this stud. seen anything like him he's special he's different he wants to fight again so you know I, i've never been in a position where i'm like who's next how do we do how do we get him a fight how, how do we get him over here how do we do this how do we do that it's fun and i like it and uh I, I think when you're a fight fan a guy like this is the type of guy that you love to watch and follow and hate you know and 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 whatever it might be this is this guy is one of the most special fighters I've ever seen, if not the most special guy that I've ever come across. I know what some people might be thinking. There's always going to be somebody that's going to say it's a hype train. Listen, I don't know. I don't know. I'm a believer. I, I, I bought into it. Three fights in amateur, all by finish. Nine pro fights, all by finish. So you think, okay, nine fights, pro, all right. But listen, he debuts in UFC. Wins by a spectacular finish, first round. And tells Dana, get me a fight in two weeks. I'll fight in two weeks. He's like, you serious? He's like, yes, I'm very serious. And two weeks later, he's fighting in the UFC again. And he wins again within a minute. He tells, he tells Dana, get me another fight right away ASAP. Boom, Dana gets him another fight. He wins again. Knocks a dude out with the first punch. This is crazy. No one's seen a person... Not just be able to back it up and and have finishing raid and, and, and spectacular finishes, but a guy who's like just wants to fight every day. He wants to fight everybody. He wants to fight every day, and he wants to fight in every single weight class. This guy is great. Can't wait to see more. The fake nut shot. It kicked him in the liver. He was ready to quit. And please, guys, don't forget, hit subscribe. Support the channel. We're going to be bringing out more Jim Wars videos. Telling all the UFC stories. I mean, you got to put the whole hip into it and snap it.
and get all your energy in there.